Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss what makes up shareholders equity. I'm Professor Capco and I help people better understand accounting and business and finance. So if you like this kind of content, I would love it if you would smash the like button on this. Give us a thumbs up. But let's talk about what shareholders equity is and what are the four main components of it. So shareholders equity sometimes is called stockholders equity, maybe owners equity, or it might also be called equity, just simply equity. But let's look at for a typical corporation that has shares of stock, what equity involves. We've got four main components. We have outstanding shares, we have additional paid in capital, we have treasury stock, and we have retained earnings. Now, each of these are additive. So in other words, all four of them add together to make up the shareholders equity. So the outstanding shares plus the additional paid in capital, plus the treasury stock, plus the retained earnings all add up together to make up shareholders equity. Now it's possible that maybe one or more of these has a zero balance, that's certainly possible. But regardless, we wanna at least consider all four of those. First of all, outstanding shares. This means outstanding shares of stock in the company that are owned by investors, owners, people in the market, um, or it could be just owners that are insiders. It doesn't matter the status of the, the owners. It just so happens these are outstanding. These have been issued. They've been authorized by the board of directors. They're authorized by the charter for the corporation, and they have been issued, either um, bought or issued in exchange for some other consideration, but they are outstanding shares. The key to this is that they're going to be valued in this compartment at what's called par value. What is par value, you ask? Par value is the nominal value that's assigned in the charter. So it really doesn't have anything to do with the actual market value of the share. Oftentimes, a corporation will just have $1 par value stock. So each share is par value of 100. So if 100 shares of par value stock are outstanding, then this account would have $100 listed in it. Again, it, it doesn't match what the market value is necessarily. It just is the value that is assigned. Also, it is legal to have zero par value stock. In other words, uh, stock that has no par value listed, that's certainly fine. In this case, that would be a zero in this uh, particular column. Next, let's talk about the additional paid in capital. This is the amount above and beyond par value that is paid for the shares of stock when they're issued by the company. So if in our example before, if we had the $1 par value stock and let's say the investor bought it directly from the company for $50. The $50 of course would go into the cash account and then as for shareholders equity, $1 of the 50 would go into the par value account and $49 would go into the additional paid in capital account. So this plus this would be the amount of money that's paid to the corporation for the shares of stock. And you would, so this would be potentially a large source of um, owner's equity. Next, let's talk about treasury stock. Treasury stock is any shares of stock that were at one point issued and outstanding, but now purchased again and brought back into the company. So these are rebought or um, reacquired. These are the reacquired shares. We'll talk about in another video how to account for treasury stock because there are several different ways that can, can be done. So that may be the subject of an entire separate video. So stay tuned for that. If you are finding this type of information helpful, 
go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell. So when we do these additional videos, you'll become aware of them and uh, be up to speed. So we've got the outstanding shares plus the additional paid in capital plus the treasury stock. The last thing that would make up the bulk of the shareholders equity is called retained earnings. This is the amount of money left over after all the bills are paid, including dividends. So you would have your beginning retained earnings. And uh, at the beginning of a company's life, that would be zero because it starts out with zero retained earnings. It didn't earn anything the year before. And we might add to it our net income for the year. And any dividends that are paid out, this is money that's paid out to the investors or owners that money would come out of the retained earnings and what's left over is your ending retained earnings. I have a video where I talk more about how to calculate ending retained earnings and if you haven't seen that already it's linked up here so take a look at that. So these are the four main components for shareholders equity. We have outstanding shares, additional paid in capital, treasury stock, and retained earnings. If you add them all together it will equal your shareholders equity. If you have any questions or if I've missed anything, please put it down in the comments. I try and respond to any of the comments in a timely manner. If you have other videos that you are interested in me doing, I will prepare them if you put them in the comments. And there's some other ways to support the channel listed in the description for this. Until next time, keep your grade alive and subscribe.